the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Welcome back. Today is Sunday, March 7th, 2021, and here is the Sports Vote Campaign update. So Charlie Munger, uh, that's uh, Warren Buffett's partner, is against SPACs and the explosion of SPACs. I have a correction from the last episode. I said that Janet Yellen was a Fed director. She's actually Secretary of the Treasury. So the gambling hype rolls on in spite of massive losses and ignoring all the negatives. Again, gambling is what people know. Analysts hype the stock, leave out the losses, confuse revenues with profits, and rinse and repeat. That seems to be the game. Don't know how that's legal. Uh, Put a price projection out there. Go out and hype it, hype, 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 hype the price. Maybe the whole idea here is to confuse the business model and to transfer stock market funds to the gamblers and make both of these confused, the stock market and gambling confused together. ASM will create jobs at all skill levels. It's an infrastructure plan. Nothing else can do that, especially gambling, which is for losers. Would you rather bet on something or invest in it? On a Hero Club trip, uh, I believe this was in, it was either 18 or 19, I was next to the dean of a very large uh, college in Chicago that told me stories about her and her husband, who was also either a, a part of the college or an attorney, I can't remember which, and how they're routinely stopped going into their neighborhood because they both drive nice cars. So those stories that you hear in the news, and I, I don't know why she brought this up and how this conversation came up. Uh, I just kind of came up out of the blue, uh, just one of those sitting next to somebody on a plane conversations. So that's personal experience uh, that I've had. Very sophisticated lady, very well-educated dean of a college. And this is not an isolated event. This is something that happens routinely going to her own home. Forbes had a very cautious story about gambling, basically trying to hedge. It looked like, you know, saying that there's a safe way to do this. There is no safe way to do this in the same way that there's no such thing as a safe cigarette. We are the insurgents, so expect the gambling scumbags to lie, cheat, and steal because that's their nature. We are the challenger. We, though they have the resources and the connections, but we have the, the, the supreme and superior idea. But that's not going to stop them from lying, cheating, and stealing their way as they always do because it's in their nature. A lot of talk about sustainable investing going around right now. Um, I've been subscribed to a UN publication for more than a decade that talks extensively about that. Um, of course, what we're doing here is part of sustainable investing, part of a Green New Deal of sorts. So DraftKings is buying customers at an extraordinary premium, uh, only to lock in future losses. The more customers they get, the more money they lose. $614 million in revenue. Revenue, okay? This, this is very irritating. There's a constant there's a constant confusion being put out there between revenues and earnings. Revenue is the top-line dollar income. They took in $614 million in top line, but they lost $844 million. Okay, so they lost more dollars than they took in. Bank for International Settlements, if you don't know what that is, that's the central bank of all central banks. You want to study something fascinating, look that up. Bank for International Settlements. They have a estimate that there's going to be $1 trillion in credit losses as a result of the pandemic. I think that's way low. That's probably 25% of the real number, if not even less. China halted a very large crypto farm, uh, one of the largest in the whole network. Uh, of crypto farms. So that means something. Keep an eye on that. Uh, Fantex was the last exchange to try to steal our idea. And it cost them more than $50 million. And they also had a market that wouldn't trade contracts sometimes for a week. Not a single contract would trade. We developed um, an event contract 13 years ago. It was part of our USFE submission package. You can actually see that on the newsportseconomy.com, the, the original submission documents to the CFTC. It was called the host city and host country select contracts. So anybody trying to claim they got something new here, uh, we beat you to it. We did this 13 years ago. We also sponsored the Costa Rica national soccer team, the entire country. Uh, I found out uh, through some interesting uh, conversations. I didn't realize that the entire country had seen our press hits more than once. 
um, kind of explained some of the things that would happen that I, I couldn't put my finger on. So we've made these kind of deals before. I mean, the national soccer team's the biggest thing in Costa Rica, and we were a sponsor, uh, you, we, me, meaning that we know how to work the press. We've been doing this for a long time. Uh, if you don't believe me, go to archive.org, the Wayback Machine, and you'll see the history there in the snapshots of our website from the mid-2000s. We also sponsored a regional uh, soccer team and, and some, uh, some others. So there's a couple of others. I can't remember the names right now. But the big one was the national team. Um, Bernie and Paul did have a call with uh, an individual who's connected to the Canadian Football League. Uh, we're going to be moving that to the next step to... Uh, advance those discussions and get something in front of the commissioner. And he's also setting up a call with a rugby team. The SEC, uh, Gary Gensler, who was formerly of the CFTC, is now uh, SEC director. He uh, said Christos, crypto scams are exploding. Well, that's not a surprise, uh, you know, given the, the hyped up prices and everything. The Las Vegas Sands Corporation is leaving Vegas. That's pretty astonishing. I'll just leave that there. Uh, DraftKings made a deal with Dish Network. I would just like to say hello, Wire Act, Wire Act, 60-year super precedent, uh, guaranteed to be violating that 100%. You cannot transmit the information related to gambling over the wires, and the wires have been reinterpreted to mean wireless as well. So do we have laws or do we not have laws? Let me know. So I posted an um, invitation on the notice board for a video, Ask Me Anything, there is no rule other than one, which is that you cannot be invisible and you cannot disclose who you are. It is completely inequitable for me to be public with my full name and who I am and, and to take questions from shadows. I'm not going to do it. It is not equitable. There's something wrong. If you're not willing to show your face, there must be some good reason for that. If you're willing to show your face... Then uh, And we will also record that conversation for posting on our YouTube channel because there seems to be some sentiment which is vastly exaggerated based on what I've seen so far, that there's this angry mob of people out there that, don't, uh, that aren't getting their questions answered. Um, that looks like a bunch of horse hockey at this point because I only have one taker. However, um, if you want to be put on that list, there is a place to do that on the ASM notice board. And I will clear it, uh, your entry, so it can be seen, provided you follow the rules. So I hope you find this uh, interesting, and I'm trying to keep it a little bit shorter, because I know everybody has other things to do. See the show notes for links and any comments. If you find this helpful or useful, please pass it around. Review it if you would like. Um, you know, that's helpful for the algorithm. And if you want to be notified when the next um, installment is published, hit the subscribe button. Thank you and stay safe with your friends and your family. Bye now.